The Evolved Tesla is in Clash Royale. Whenever the Evolved Tesla pops up, it does a shockwave effect. This shockwave effect hits ground and air, does area damage, and stuns troops. This is one of the better evolutions, and today we are going to unlock it and use it on ladder. Of course, you get all six Tesla evolution shards from this month's Pass Royale. And as always, if you are buying the pass, make sure to come over to the shop first and type in code UFO. But there we go, my purchase was successful. We bought the Diamond Pass Royale, and we claim all six Tesla Evolution shards. Boom, unlocked. And the best deck for the Tesla Evolution is Expo. Expo is making a comeback with this Evolved Tesla. Okay, into a game and first play with this deck, we are going to split Archers at the back. It's a very good neutral first play going to force my opponent to do something and worst case scenario we just cycled closer to our evo archers now with the evo tesla you do not want to play it willy nilly it is still a defensive building so you have to be a little bit more careful with when you play it but i will play it now just because we have an ice golem coming towards us and this guy isn't really doing anything worst case scenario we can always play our defensive expo as well and here we are definitely going to fireball that little prince we do miss the cannon, but that's fine. We could log here. But honestly, I think I'm just going to go with Archers to the side to see what he does. He's not using the ability yet. That's good for me. We are going to very quickly cycle back around to a second Tesla for this Hog Rider. And this guy might be Hog Earthquake. He might also just be 2.6 with Little Prince instead of Musketeer. And we do have the Evo Archers in cycle. That's very nice. My next Tesla as well will be an Evo Tesla. So we can start being a little bit aggressive here. Obviously, Expo Tesla is a pretty expensive combo. It takes 10 elixirs, so we are going to play it slow, play it careful. We're not into double elixir time yet, and overcommitting would be very, very bad. Anyway, he does go for a defensive cannon, so now's my opportunity, I think, to expo. See what he does here. He goes for a hog rider. That's absolutely fine. We are going to play skeletons. He goes for a fireball as well. We just let that go. Hog rider gets taken out. We are going to ice bear up high here for this little prince. And we have the Evo Tesla in our hands. Let's go for a knight at the back. We are then going to play archers at the back. And this is it. This is the push. We go expo. We go Tesla. And how are you stopping this? He goes for an ice golem that gets absolutely destroyed by both the Tesla and the Expo. Expo just slowly melting everything down. He does go for a fireball. That's absolutely fine. We are going to very quickly cycle, cycle, cycle here. Going to try and get back around to a second Tesla for this hog rider. Okay, that's fine. We do have the Evo Tesla still there. So we are going to go for an Expo here. Just pressure. He goes for a cannon. But again, that Tesla stunning it. Shockwave effect. Beautiful stuff. Little Prince gets taken out as well. He goes for a fireball. That's absolutely fine. Knight connects on the left side. We are going to split archers here. Catch the ice spirit with my ice spirit. Go for a knight and go for another expo. Just because we're keeping up a lot of pressure right now. And we are going to fireball here. That's a really nice fireball. Hit the cannon and the little prince. Expo locked onto the tower. And so is the evo archers. And that is going to be a good game. He does go ice spirit hog rider at the bridge. We just catch that with my ice spirit. And the rest gets taken out. Beautiful stuff. Go for a defensive knight here. Protecting the cannon. I could lock here as well. But I kind of don't want to. Going to just set up a tesla. And that should be a good game. Oh, I feel so dirty playing expo but it's so easy okay first play he goes royal hogs and a little prince at the bridge i think this is going to be hog earthquake so this is going to be a really good game to show earthquake is an expo's worst enemy on top of that it's also a big enemy of the tesla but ufo has some tips for you first of all the tesla if we place it here it still pulls in all the troops and he cannot earthquake the tesla and my tower so anti-eq placement with the tesla is important secondly we do have double buildings and that's going to help out a lot third of all i think it's going to be very hard for him to deal with my evo archers when they eventually arrive so yeah we got a lot of good stuff going for us even though it doesn't look the best at the moment anyway he does go little prince and ability here that little prince ability is so short now it doesn't even hit the archers over the river that's kind of insane before my archers would be definitely taken out there anyway let's go for an up high tesla once again wanting to avoid the earthquake and that's absolutely fine he does log again that's a-okay next tesla is going to be the evo tesla we have evo archers as well and this is where we start to go aggressive here with the expo he cycles a knight at the back kind of a bad knight in my opinion also a bad little prince expo here going to hopefully get some good value he does go for a defensive tesla that's absolutely fine just going to let my expo melt it Expo did some good tower damage. That is beautiful stuff. And we are just going to set up Evo Archers here on the defense. Go for a Ice Spirit over here. Go for Skeletons as well just to help distract everything. Take it all out. Evo Archers should clean up very nicely. He does go for an Earthquake. Wasting the Earthquake. Going to go Expo opposite lane here. And you guys can just see the amount of control I have in this game. Going to go for a Tesla here on this stuff. Stun everything. 
deals damage, knocks it back, takes out the firecracker as well. Beautiful stuff. Expo on the tower, going to cycle, 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 back around to a second expo because that one's about to expire. Still taking advantage here of my Evo Tesla. Evo Tesla versus normal Tesla. My one does so much damage to his. And we force out another EQ and a Guardian's ability. That's insane. He spent a lot of elixir there. So he's kind of down bad. We do take out his Tesla once again. That is beautiful stuff. Knight protecting. Going to just completely ignore that firecracker. We do not care about the firecracker at all. It does very minimal damage. Expo doing great work against this tower. We could now log that firecracker away. But I'm going to just set up another Expo here. And that should be a good game. This guy didn't play badly it's just very hard to beat this deck because like i said you can just do anti-earthquake placements and you see right there he cannot hit the tower and the tesla and when you get into a position like this you then just fireball cycle them down and log isn't quite enough yet so we are going to have to cycle to another fireball but we just play defense until then cycle our cheapest cards and that is going to be a good game now the thing about the evo tesla is it's not going to win you games by itself but it gives you a lot of confidence with this deck which you wouldn't otherwise have going for an expo tesla at the bridge is your entire elixir bar is 10 elixir and there's no guarantee that expo is going to be locked onto the tower but with the shock wave helping out it makes a huge difference we have the defensive expo here by the way otherwise that balloon would have hit my tower that would have been very bad but hey great defense double defensive buildings coming in clutch and you guys can see on this right side my knight actually did a ton of damage he completely ignored my knight wow what a mid ladder menace giant skeleton balloon prince i don't even know what i'm playing against anyway definitely going to tesla here going to distract that sparky with a knight we want to protect the archers obviously go for an ice spirit as well just to help out against this prince and that's an okay defense next time round we will have the evo tesla and we have evo archers right now which is very nice for us let's actually go for an expo here see what he does this is going to be interesting if he balloons i just tesla he goes for a minion horde okay evo tesla always gets that shockwave effect off that's important to know no matter what the shockwave effect will go off even if you play it into a group of enemies anyway let's bring that lumberjack into the middle let's also log it just to be safe rather than sorry and we did a little bit of chip damage wasn't the best but wasn't the worst but the fact that evo tesla kept my expo alive is fantastic he sparkies at the back so we go expo at the bridge and yeah he's just over committing typical mid ladder menace people often wonder how do you be a mid ladder menace they just over commit and then you just capitalize on that anyway we do have to go evo arches here surround this tesla Go for an Ice Spirit as well. Go for a Tesla once again. More Archers. Going to have to log in a second as well for this Prince. Absolutely fine. And yeah, solid defense. We take his tower. And that should be good game. You just have so much control with this deck. And yeah, the battle log speaks for itself. Just straight wins with this deck. But hey, my honest opinion about the Evo Tesla is it's actually very balanced. It's not one of the best Evos in the game. The Evo Bomber and the Evo Skeletons are still way better than the Evo Tesla. But it does make decks like Expo viable again in the meta. But hey, really hope you guys enjoyed.